Good evening and welcome to another edition of Friday Night Lights. I'm Jay Pushkar. Mike Fenner was on assignment. The Red Hot Erie Seawolves went for their fifth straight victory on Friday night in Harrisburg. To the state capital we go. No score. In the bottom of the third inning, Jake Alou connects on his ninth home run of the season. And the Senators take a lead of one to nothing. Erie comes right back though in the top of the fourth. Base is loaded. Andrew Navagato shoots one up the middle. Scoring on the play is Quincy Naporti and Dane Myers. Erie leading at 2-1. Following an RBI bases loaded walk by Luis Carpio. A few batters later, Wenzel Perez drives one to center, but making the catch and avoiding a collision is Jack Dunn for the final out of the inning. Still 3-1 in the top of the fifth. Dane Myers gets all of this pitch for the two-run shot, number 11 on the year for Myers. Erie up 5-1 at that point. Seawolves go on to win their fifth in a row. They topple the Senators on Friday night, 7-5. to five. On the Major League Baseball scoreboard, it was Kansas City over Cleveland, 4-3. to three, And it just went final in the south side as Detroit knocked off the Chicago White Sox, 7-5. to five. In the National League, this one just went final as well as it was Milwaukee taking care of Pittsburgh, 4-3. to three. Glenwood League Baseball from Ainsworth Field. Rambler 9 taking on Firehouse Subs Outlaws. Rambler 9 leading 1 to nothing in the fourth. Scott Hess with the sack fly RBI. That scores Teddy DeSanti, making it a 2 nothing Rambler 9 lead. Same inning. Jack Malik at the plate. He's going to come through with an RBI sack fly of his own. Connor Connell able to tag and score, giving the Rambler 9 squad a 3 nothing cushion. The final in this one goes to Rambler 9 as they go on to blank the Outlaws of Firehouse Subs 5 to nothing. Day 2 of the NHL Draft, Erie Otters defenseman Christian Cairo heard his name called on Friday in the second round by the Dallas Stars with the 50th pick overall. Cairo becomes the 16th Otters player all time to be selected in the top 50 and he joins his brother Jordan in the NHL as Jordan is a forward with the St. Louis Blues. Christian is coming off a brilliant sophomore season in Erie as Cairo finished in the top three in scoring among all OHL defensemen, top 50 in the entire league, and of course top three on the team. He played in every game this past season for the Otters, scoring 18 goals and 42 assists. At the EDGA Junior Match Play Tournaments at Riverside Golf Course, Anna Marie Zinram captured the girls' championship by defeating Katie Carl 2-1. and one. As for the boys' championship match, that featured top seed Kyle Westfall taking on Nick Momeyer. Westfall one up through the front nine and on number 10, it's Momeyer able to even things up as he sinks the short range putt as he saves par. On the 11th, Westfall just off the mark, two putts, and Momeyer also just off the mark as they would eventually have the hole to number 12. Momeyer able to go two putt as well and go one up on Westfall. On number 13, they would have the hole, and eventually the championship final would be decided in 19 holes as Kyle Westfall goes on to claim this year's EDGA Junior Match Play Championship, and in the B flight, Connor Laird defeats Robert Mahoney 4-3. and three. It's a golf reunion unlike any other, and it's taking place this weekend at three of the best golf courses in the area. Welcome to the 2022 Ryder Cup event, which is a spin-off of the Ryder Cup tournament format that the United States and the Europeans play every two years. What began as a three-day softball tournament a quarter century ago has transformed into a three-day golf competition and this summer Lakeview, Lawrence Park and Lakeshore are hosting the guys who have been longtime friends and teammates. Even though most of the players live all over the country, they all make it a point to block off their summer schedule for this long-storied tradition.
It's got its ups and downs. It's tough, you know, coordinate everybody coming in here, you know, every year. But we, we, we do a good job. Ron, and, Ron Coleman and Bob Neemans do the most of that, pairing everything up and make mm -hmm. sure in what days certain guys are going to be here. We just kind of, me and Beach, kind of pick the teams. Well, Bob Neemans from North Carolina does it all. He's just, he's, you know, he's emailing every couple of weeks and making sure everybody's in and getting it organized and stuff. He does a great job. And we have been all coming together for a long time. Did you ever imagine this continuing year after year and the camaraderie and the number of guys still wanting to do this? Yeah, I knew it would because the way we, we've always been, we've always liked to get together. Even some of us, I live in North Carolina, guys from Georgia and Cincinnati and all over the place. So, um, yeah, we just, we knew every year we got to get together. And you know, who knows how much longer we're going to be on this earth, right? So we want to get together and have good times. What is it like to have this special reunion year in and year out? Well, it's great. We got a picture inside a poster in there that was a great year that a lot of the guys were here and uh, healthy and uh, you know things like that but it's just so fun. Bottom line does it boil down to bragging rights? Absolutely oh it definitely does every day every day every time we get done it's all about the bragging rights it's, and then you know it's all about the bets and everything going on and it's, it's a lot of fun. Oh yeah tomorrow after it's all over there'll be a lot of woofing going on definitely it's the winter will have a lot to say. <laughs>